What is a job that a morbidly obese 30-year-old male with no experience can do? You can get a call center job that allows you to work from home. They train you and give you a script to read from. They are easy if not boring. Edited typo. Fun equals from. 1. Get a GED online or at a local community center remote customer service might be a good option. As others have mentioned, call centers, telemarketing, and similar. However, not having an education is something that can also be fixed. Bro, I really hate to say this as I don't know your circumstances. But you need to buckle down and get your GED. Your options would already be limited, as is, with no GED and no experience. But your weight could definitely be a huge issue. Most beginner jobs require standing for very long periods of time and if you're in the US like I am, they won't allow you to sit down unless you're on a break. The GED will open up your options a little more and might allow you to work at a call center or the like. While not the greatest, it would at least give you something to put on a resume. You could also go to a temp agency once you get the GED and they could help you. 2. Good luck out there man. Gotta be honest. Not much. Is your obesity to the point that e.g. a standing job at a restaurant or store is out of the question? A dishwasher, cook at a locally owned restaurant would be easy to get accepted into. Foreign-owned places are likely not to care about your lack of diploma. How morbid we talking? I was technically morbidly obese when I started my warehouse job. But I could handle it because it didn't require heavy lifting. NGL. The first couple weeks sucked. But my feet quit hurting eventually. Walking several miles a day did wonders for my waistline too. In the meantime, when are you taking the GED exam? Do you have stable living conditions? Here's your priority list. 1. Secure stable living conditions if you don't. Everything on this list becomes a million times harder if you don't have a bed and shower. 2. GED. There's no way around it. You need a GED. Lots of online programs you need it. 3. Losing the weight needs to be a goal. It's going to open up so many doors for you. But it's a journey. So you need to start today. Lots of resources. I'm happy to DM you if you need. I've been on the same journey too. If you're morbidly obese forget the gym. Right now it'll probably be harder to get there than anything. Just walk if you can but you gotta start watching what you eat. You might be using food as comfort. You can't do that anymore. 3. You need to open a bank account. If you have a home address you can do this online. 4. Shut in since 18? Do you refuse to go outside or just don't anymore? Start walking if you can. Get outside and you'll lose some weight. 5. Apply for state ID if you haven't already done so. An ID will likely be needed for any job. If you have successfully done these you will be miles better off I promise. All of these are non-negotiable. There's just no way around them. Next steps you can decide. Do you want to do some trade school? Some community college? Work with the GED whatever. Do you want or need a car? Whatever. All of that is secondary. Reddit moderator. Whatever you end up doing. I'm wishing you the best there were some helpful tips listed that I hope make things a little easier. I'm proud of you for wanting a change. You deserve more. You are capable of more. Always here if you need some support or encouragement. Online English teacher. You have to pass a decently difficult TESOL exam. But you can stay home and you don't have to stand up. Seriously. You need to lose weight though. Do it for yourself. If you can't find a way to make a living at only 30 years old because of your weight. That should be a huge sign that it's time to make a change. You're worth more than that. 
Seriously DM me if you need support. I have someone in my life who was in a similar situation. They got a job at a local bookstore. It helped them be a little more social, as they had to interact with customers. And eventually they started doing local deliveries. On foot. It is important to have a bank account so you can get paid. It shouldn't be too hard to set one up. I don't know what country you live in. But where I live getting around by public transport is pretty easy so you can commute to a job that way. Working in retail, not a kitchen, that is very physically demanding. But being a cashier or something can work. Doesn't require experience or education. You can also take online classes in basic programming for free, very cheap and then try to get into that field. Again, where I live, tech is a massive industry and employs people at lots of different levels. Everyone advising to lose weight losing weight is difficult and takes a long time. Most people end up gaining the weight back. This isn't to discourage you quite the opposite. Do not wait to lost weight before getting a job or doing anything else. You want to start your life now. Not after you hit some weight loss goal. There are lots of jobs that are not physical. I also have friends who worked as overnight security guards in office building or high-end apart MNT buildings. All they had to do was sit at the little guard booth and maybe once an hour do a check in the parking lot to make sure everything was fine. It was a job that was 98% downtime to study or watch TV or read a book. Not physical and didn't need any experience. I also have friends who got jobs packing grocery deliveries and such. When I was in college I had a part-time job doing data entry for a food delivery app. I did it from home and it was super convenient. All I needed was a computer and basic computer knowledge. Good luck! Video game testing, so we don't get games released before they're ready. Data entry, if you can use a computer well and have some common sense. If you're willing to take temp roles you can build up some experience and references. And it's not impossible to be offered a permanent role while you're there. I've gone temp to perm three times. Twice by chance. Once planned ahead. I've done team leader roles. And I'm developing into an analyst role ATM. All started with some super simple data entry temping. It's a reliable source of work. Scanning isn't good enough yet to convert images to text perfectly. And the tech is expensive. And there are a lot of small to medium companies out there getting orders by email, on PDFs that need to be processed into the system. It's not exciting work. So there can be a lot of turnover. And they're usually looking for someone. They get a lot of seasonal temps. Uni students on holidays. So being available during term helps. Data entry can get your foot in the door and open up a lot of opportunities in a business. Model for adult diapers. Get paid for medical testing HTTPS slash slash clinicaltrials.gov apply for job education help work on ged classes and testing a few questions before i can answer one how obese are you two what causes you to be a shut-in does it feel too overwhelming to leave your home or do you just prefer the comforts of home three is the inability to drive caused by a physical or mental issue 4. Are you able to locate and utilize resources in your area without assistance? Making calls, filling out applications, navigating the internet, etc. You need to at least get a bank account before you can do any kind of legitimate work. Go to a local credit union and ask to open a checking account. It's usually free, but if there is a fee, it will be minimal. Think like 520 bucks. An amount you can borrow from a friend or family member that will be easy enough to pay back once. You start getting a paycheck. After that, the typical jobs for people without high school diplomas are fast food and low-level retail. 
I would recommend looking for a cashier job. And if you're obese enough that you can't safely stand for a full shift. Seek an accommodation that allows you to sit on a chair or stool while you work. While you are working that job, you should pursue your GED. Realistically, there are not that many jobs nowadays that can support an independent adult who doesn't have a high school degree. I don't know where you live, but there are lots of programs to support adults who are pursuing their diploma. I think there are even some that will help you get started on an associate's degree. If you're interested in that path. When you are self-employed nobody asks you for education, transport or weight, clients only care for your service or product. So the question might be, is there anything you are good at doing or making? It doesn't have to be special or unique, just marketable. You don't need a GED. No job asks for your high school diploma. That seems hard to believe when all of Reddit is also saying get a GED but think about how silly. That would be if it were true. People that are 30 or 40 aren't bringing in a high school diploma for jobs. It would look so silly. Employers aren't gonna call your high school that you graduated at in 2010 or whatever. You're good. High school isn't relevant to a resume. It won't be checked. The job gap in your 20s is more alarming than didn't graduate. You need some kind of alibi with a traditional employer. Check the subreddits like our work online. If you can get a driver's license it opens you up to all kinds of courier jobs from DoorDash to medical courier. That would be an easier transition than trying to do 40 hours at an Amazon warehouse or something. Courier gigs don't really matter if you're in shape or not and allow you to start and stop as needed. I was 350 pounds when I joined the post office as a rural carrier. You just need a Pulse ATM to be hired. It's 19.94 an hour and we are hiring so many people ATM it's crazy. Be advised rural not city unless you feel walking 17 miles is good for you. Full disclosure I lost a ton of weight on this job it's not easy. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.